Everybody's clapping for us. <laughs> I, I, a lot of people don't realize we have a live audience. I know. <laughs> Here we go. Welcome back to the final segment of Investing with Confidence. I am your host, Joshua David, an online trading academy, the sponsor of Investing with Confidence, teaches people skills and techniques and strategies to utilize the markets, whether they're looking for wealth management, you know, self-directing, mm-hmm. or income potential. If you happen to miss two tickets for that investing class right here on Bloomington uh, during the week or on the weekend, just call 952-814-4410 or text the word INVEST to the number 484848. Al, we talked about it in the last section, and we didn't get enough done there. It's these, these segments go by so fast, but uh, self-directing retirement accounts, 401ks, IRAs, our listeners understand that, yeah, you can self-direct them now. You have the ability to and the, the access to. But talk more about, you know, why it's so important to do that because fees are high right now. Mm-hmm. And, and we were, I was actually teaching one of those investing classes last week, and someone said, yeah, my broker only t- charges me 2% for my, uh, ret- my retirement account. So we actually did the numbers on it. It adds up to be hundreds of thousands of dollars over a course of many, many years right. based on, on compounding interest that you don't get. Mm-hmm. So there's an issue there. So that's why I think I believe we're seeing so many people come into these investing classes, learn more about self-directing, right. 401ks, IRAs. So let's talk through like some of the access people have access to. Um, weird way to say that, but that's the way I did it. How do, if someone has an old 401k, let's talk about that. What what can you do with an old 401k? And we're not giving advice here, just the opportunities. What can you do with the old 401k? And then what can you do? Let's just say if somebody does contribute to their 401k, they get a match. What do you see a lot of people do that want to invest more, but don't want to put it on the 401k? Okay, number of questions there. Pick the first one. Okay. Which one is it? Okay, now I got, <laughs> I've got to try, to try to remember what they were now, Josh. <laughs> but yeah, if, if you have a 401k, uh, what can you do with it? Well, you can leave it where it is. And, and unfortunately, a lot of people do that. I think the figure I saw recently was there's about $1.4 trillion dollars in basically lost 401ks. People work for companies, leave the company. There's a lot of mobility. A lot of people change jobs and forget that they might have access to some money in a 401k with your previous company. So maybe check into that. Uh, but the money that you have in your in your 401k or 403, when we talk about 401ks, we're really talking about all of the employer-sponsored plans. Yeah. But when you leave, that is your money to take with you. You can roll that into a self-directed IRA so you eliminate the the immediate tax. There's no penalty there. And now what have you done? You've eliminated that fee. Josh mentioned the 2% figure. A lot of people think, well, you know, 1%, 2%, 3%, no big deal. It is a big deal. It's a lot. And and it's then the negative compounding impact because that 2%, two, that 2% two that is taken out every year, first of all, that money is no longer there for you, but it's no longer there compounding for you. So every dollar you have could end up being a thousand dollars or more down the road, and you eliminate that, you lose that by paying those fees, and the fees that you're paying are probably not giving you that two to three percent worth of of value. It's a storage facility, is what it is. Well, it, it really is. If you think about the advice you're getting, the help you get from a plan sponsor is in most cases for most of you is non-existent. So you're already doing the work. You're making the choices. And yet you're paying somebody to do that. So when you self-direct, when you roll that 401k into a uh, an individual uh, retirement account, a self-directed retirement account, uh, you're still, the person that was managing your 401k is now managing your self-directed IRA. It, it's you. You can keep the same assets, maybe the same mutual funds that you had in your 401k if you want to. I think when you go through our classes, you'll realize that that is not the best thing for you, not the best place. But you have access to a number of things in a self-directed IRA. You can trade stock. You can trade exchange-traded funds, baskets of stocks, basically, that represent certain parts of the economy and the markets. You can trade options. You can trade futures. You can trade the foreign exchange market. You can trade up markets. You can trade down markets. You can trade in sideways markets. So what you're doing is you're going from having a one out of three opportunity to be profitable to a three out of three potential to be profitable because you can participate in all market directions. The leverage that Josh had mentioned before, 
the reason people are so excited about futures and forex and options is that they have leverage. That's maximizing the value of your dollars. So you in, in retirement, you know, people get a little protective of the retirement accounts they have, and they don't want to take big parts of it and maybe put that into what they consider to be a risky stock market. You don't have to do that. You can still have opportunities to control uh, assets or investments that are very large dollar-wise with a much smaller upfront amount. It's like a mortgage. Yep. Uh, why do so many people? Why are so many people able to buy homes? Mortgage because of mortgages. Leverage. Yeah, you know, a lot of not a lot of people have five hundred thousand dollars or a million dollars to put into a home, but with a mortgage, you can do that for maybe ten to twenty percent of that. You can do the same thing in the markets with leverage, with forex futures and options. You know, maybe you get 50 to 1 leverage or 10 to 1, 20 to 1, 100 to 1. But that's maximizing the value of your money with very liquid assets, which makes it easy for you to get into and out of a position. Yeah, it's kind of funny you mentioned, uh, you know, homes being, you know, a million dollars or half a million dollars. Ten years ago, we weren't talking like that. No, no, but we homes weren't. are so expensive yeah. now. You, you, That's the normal talk. It's yeah. it's half a million dollars, million dollars, and you don't really get much with that anymore. Not anymore. But, you know, just think about that for a second. If if you're able to self-direct your accounts and, and use other assets, which makes basically you can use a smaller amount of capital so you don't have to use your whole retirement portfolio there's option strategies that, that uh, especially the smart money, they're using to have income potential during retirement. Because think about mm-hmm. that, too. When you retire, your income has stopped or, or your job has stopped. So why, why are most people or why does the smart money have other strategies? Well, why would you draw that down when there's, there's strategies to utilize if you do have a retirement account? And it doesn't matter how big it is. Just use the right asset. When we talked about uh, futures and Forex earlier, you actually have 50 to 1 lever with, leverage with Forex, right. which means if you have a dollar, you can control 50. So that allows most people probably listening right now an entry point into the market. And by the way, you, as Al was talking about, there's a you have the ability to trade stocks, options, futures, and Forex within retirement accounts, but you have to self-direct it. But you got to learn how to do that the right way. And I think one of the most important things, I think in my opinion, about being able to self-direct your account is is is... You have your own best interest, not mm-hmm. a stranger managing your life, managing the money that you have. So basically, it's like having all of your money. I think we talk about this once in a while, having all your money on a on your table at right. home mm-hmm. and then saying, hey, stranger that just walks by, manage my money for you, for me. It doesn't make any sense in my opinion, but my opinion is only mine only. That's so, correct. So, Al, we have a lot of listeners that do want to self-direct their portfolios, make smart investing decisions with, with at the right assets but really to have their best interests. So just call 952-814-4410. And this is for an investing class right in Bloomington to introduce you to those techniques and concepts to have the potential to lower fees uh, within your 401ks, IRAs, and have your best interest. You can also text the word invest to the number 484848. You'll receive a text back with a link. Pick that link and that will give you to our registration page and pick a date for that class. You're going to receive a financial quick start kit just by doing that. Al, real quick, I know we're getting close to the end of the show. Just real quick, in about 30 seconds, just your way of explaining what the life of an investor looks like. Well, it it really depends on what you want it to look like. It's not much different than the life that you're living right now. You choose how much time you want to put into it. You choose the assets you want to choose. You know what? If you don't want to do anything, you don't have to do anything. You want to take some time off. Maybe you want to take a, a couple of weeks or a month and, and go on a cruise or a vacation somewhere. It's your choice. That's it's your choice. But if you want to trade, you can take you take your phone with you. You can trade on your phone on that cruise or That's on right. that vacation. You can go anywhere in the world where there's an Internet and you have access to uh, to the markets. And, and again, remember, there's not just the stock market. There are a number of different markets that you can you can utilize. And and one of the reasons that people, uh, I think, are a little reluctant to do this is they're afraid of big losses. And you should be, and you should never have a big loss. The number one thing that we teach our students is how to lose properly, which means never have a big loss. You will not win 100% of the time, and understanding that and accepting that it also, along with the fact that that anytime you're wrong, you have a minimum loss. It's the the minimum possible, and we show you how to achieve that. But be able to still participate with the big rewards, and and maximize the uh, risk 
management part of your trading. Yep, it's just the potential that's there. And what Al is talking about is, you know, it's accessible to anybody, but you got to learn the skills and have the techniques and strategies that the smart money uses. So we introduce those strategies to a lot of the people that come to Online Trading Academy just to see what they are to just really get in this arena. So one last set of tickets for this investing class, and this is going to be for callers 1 through 10. Call 952-814-4410 for this investing class right here in Bloomington. You can also text the word INVEST to the number 484848. In these classes, we talk about our step-by-step rules-based strategy for trading any asset in any market, but also how to manage risk and navigate these phenomenal volatile markets. We actually want volatility. Text the word INVEST to the number 484848. Pick a date within the link that we text you back. There's also a short preview video on what to expect in this investing class. Every week, Al, you have great knowledge. We're dropping bombs everywhere. Today, let's hear the OTA tip of the week. Well, you know, we, we encounter this all the time, Josh, where, where people have reasons for not wanting to go forward. And I, this is what I want to say. The first place that we lose the battle is in our own thinking. You know, if you think something is permanent, it probably will be. If you think you've reached your limit, you probably have reached your limit. You know, if you think if you're sick and you think you're not going to get well, well, you might not. You know, you have to change your thinking. And we're here, we're here to help you do that. You need to see everything that's holding you back, every obstacle, every limitation as only temporary. And remember, winners and leaders, they spend 5% of their time on the problem and 95% on the solution. So let us help you find the solution that's best for you. And Jerry Maguire said it the best. It's all about that mindset. Once again, 952-814-4410 for two tickets, same time, same place next week. Until then, retire young, my friends.